What's up, guys? Uh, wanted to go ahead and just give my thoughts on Titans Season 3 thus far. First off, if you guys have not seen Titans at all, go check it out. It is worth it. Uh, that means Teen Titans on HBO. Also, go check out Season 3. Three episodes. We're going to talk about, about it. There's a lot to talk about. And honestly, I don't know where to begin, so I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. So, of course, there's a lot of iconic moments in here, if you guys are unaware of, of course, Jason Todd becoming Red Hood. Uh, the way that they had him kill was not the way I expected, and they still have yet to sh be shown of how he came back. And what we see is... The Titans are doing well in San Francisco. Jason goes after the Joker while Batman's gone, obviously. And he just, he kills him at what looked to be an abandoned amusement park. And when that happens, obviously he dies. Everyone comes together. Dick comes home to Wayne Manor. And we see where Bruce is in the way he is, cleaning up the, uh, the Robin suit. Iconic. Now, we need to get to see the Joker, and throughout the episode, we see where everyone's trying to deal with the loss of Jason, and we even get to meet Barbara in this, uh, which again, I don't know about the actress thus far, and is it just me, or are they just giving her, like, one leg, because I've only seen one leg from uh, this woman who is playing as Barbara, and unsure if that's the way they did it. Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know, guys. I mean, I like what I'm seeing so far to a certain degree, if that makes any sense. Um, I know we are supposed to be getting, I think, uh, Starfire's sister or something. I think that happened last season, I believe. And then, of course, uh, we find out Raven's trying to bring back Donna back, a.k.a. Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman's, uh, you know, second. And... I'm going to go ahead and say this now, guys. Again, you guys can hate what I got to say or not, but some of the casting and some of the way that they got this going is good, and some of it's kind of just, I don't know, man. I can't take who plays Bruce Wayne seriously. This version, he's extremely old. Uh, I don't, I just, I don't know. I mean, they're one Titans, but again, the grown up version, and then they got Jason Todd, which again, I thought it was going to be badass. The suit ain't too bad. I thought the suit would be a little bit better, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, seeing, you know, Jason become Red Hood with that iconic scene from the movie, obviously, where he's taking all the gang members and uh, well, killing all the gang, gang members, second lieutenants, like we saw in the movie, which was interesting. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like I said, there's certain things I like and I dislike. Titans, I like Titans, but again, not a fan of who plays Starfire. I mean, I'm still giving her a chance. Uh, wasn't a fan of Beast Boy. Still got, you know, that. And then, of course, we get to see Tim Drake, which they're now saying he's, I guess, half black and half Asian, which, to my knowledge, he was just another uh, Caucasian kid, white kid that, you know, Bruce Wayne took in. Now, Ian Glenn playing as Bruce Wayne, I cannot take him seriously, dude. Get someone else that looks young and can still kick ass kick ass and do something, dude. I just, I can't take her, take him seriously as Bruce Wayne. Just like how I, I'm, I really don't care for the casting for Tim Drake, uh, but the last few episodes of seeing, which to my knowledge was, of course, you know, Savannah Welch playing as Barbara Gordon. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I really don't. Um, I think if, if, from what I'm looking up, and I'm looking this up as, as I'm talking about this, guys. Uh, does she, is she missing, is she actually missing a leg? Because I don't know. Um, please comment down below if she is or isn't. I mean... I mean, I feel sorry for her if she is. I mean, I, I still give her credit, but she, to me, she just don't look like Barbara Gordon. I mean, and they don't even say, they say apparently Mr. Freeze killed Jim Gordon, and she has her issues with Bruce, obviously, because of 
bring her into the crusade, blaming him for Jason's death, and then how Bruce kills Joker, same way uh, he apparently killed Jason, but there's no, uh, nothing to say the reason why he died. He just states that he killed him the same way as he killed Jason, and he just leaves. So again, I don't know, guys. Some of it is kind of crazy, and then another spoiler here, we're going to be seeing another death in the family because again raven she's off trying to bring donna back don't know exactly where it gets said by beast boy when he's still trying to come up with other uh ways to transform which again is cool and we see hank return he became a a, a bike cop pretty much and when he comes back he wants to help but at the very end of season uh not season three but the episode three where Hank tries to go after Jason because of everything that has happened, him becoming crazy, it getting revealed, and the team tries to go after him, but then it gets revealed that he does something to Hank, placing a bomb in him by his heartbeats, and his last heartbeat will basically set off the, uh, the bomb, and he wants the team to steal gold bars to be able to provide him money for whatever reason, and Nightwing doesn't want to do it, so Dove later on just decides that she's going to try to save him. And unfortunately, when we get this fight of Nightwing trying to save Hank as well as Dove, it doesn't work out. And Jason does something to where I guess it was flawed no matter what happened to where he was still going to be, uh, I, I would say, it didn't matter what they were going to do, he was still going to die. So what really sucks is seeing another awesome character die when we really don't know exactly how they may bring him back. They, they may try. I don't know. They may try. They may try to do something. They may try to do something. I, I don't know. But they're having a lot of Titans die too easy. They're, they're having characters die too easy and then trying to bring them back and they're not giving a whole lot of explanation. Like, Ra's al Ghul gets brought up and Dick says, no, it couldn't be him. Do, do, he's somewhere. And it really doesn't make sense. Like, okay, Ra's brought him back in the comics, in the animated movie, and it made no sense. So, why all of a sudden is it saying, like, oh, it possibly couldn't have been him when that's really the only way he could have came back. And he's crazy for whatever reason. Now, again, the casting with Jason Todd, I've been back and forth on um i don't think anyone's gonna top jensen's jensen ackles performance as red hood in the movie i mean i'm just gonna be honest with you guys and with i i don't know guys i mean some of this i like some of that i don't like it's been a very intense season already i think there needs to be some recasting sooner or later but even if this if titans gets a uh reboot at some point they're going to uh recast characters now again there are some things i like about titans there are things i don't like about titans just like how i don't like the casting for bruce wayne starfire jason todd uh tim drake um i think for jason todd he appears to be too young he's not to be that young i think maybe a few years younger than uh than dick but not that young not like i would say in his late teens i i, I don't even know how old this kid is but he and then screwing up, I would say they, they screwed up with Tim Drake. I don't know how they're going to bring him into the fold. Um, again, casting anymore is a real pain for a fan, especially if you, no matter what comic is. I grew up on the older comics. I don't mind the new version of the comics, but I prefer the older ones. Now, seeing Red Hood live actually gives me hopes for another version of Red Hood at some point. There is a rumor we are going to be getting a Red Hood movie. Just don't know by who. Hopefully, I would say very good casting at some point. But again, those are my thoughts for Season uh, 3 thus far. I am going to be getting a full review of the season when it does uh, end, which I would say we're probably going to get, what, like 10, 13 episodes maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But what are your thoughts on Season 3 as of right now, guys? Is it good? Is it bad? We even got a first look at Scarecrow, even. Uh, which, again, I think that was okay casting. Uh, again, waiting to see if Raven's going to return. Waiting to see what kind of uh, they're going to do for the reason why Jason is back. Why he became Red Hood. Obviously, to get back at Batman for treating him like a kid. Same thing, I guess, for the Titans. Uh, I guess 
feeling like he, they abandoned him. Same thing with him being on some kind of a drug or a known drug. So there's a lot of questions and very little answers within the very first three episodes that we are going to have to go through and just see what's going to happen in this uh, entire crazy season. But we have a huge ride that's ahead of us. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. And uh, let's talk about it. Um, again, if you guys agree with me, that's fine. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. Uh, you're entitled to your own opinion. Uh, but we're all DC fans at the end of the day. So just let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. If you guys are new channel, subscribe subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought. Put notifications, and I'll see you on the next one.